Throne game, throne game. Episode five, the second to last episode ever. You know what it was? What? It was Steph Curry's game six. Oh. It was, oh, you think you, oh, you th- oh, you're oh, forgetting about this. Counted oh, me out. You doubted me, doubted me a little bit. Yeah, you know, one and two were a little slow. Sure, the CGI was a little tough in third episode. Some lulls, tactical issues. We got into that. Episode five was Curry's second half in game six. It was like, oh, you think you think we lost it? Nope. That I was am- awesome. I'm guessing that the uh, the Game of Thrones fanatics were upset about a variety of things about it. All I can tell you I'm is not. I thought it was an awesome 80 minutes of TV. I loved it. I thought it was one of my favorite Game of Thrones episodes ever. I was on the edge of my seat. It was like watching a great action movie. There was a lot of how the hell are they doing this moments. It was the best they'd ever used CGI. I could actually see. It was nice and light. Um, and most important, <laughs> they unleashed a dragon. Stan... Stay in the dragon, finally. Um, I knew he had it in him. I knew just one time, just just let Stan loose. Let him go. Didn't it feel a little bit like Jason Kidd's using the dragons and then Budenholzer got the job for this right. episode? He's like, what if we have some spacing with the dragon? <laughs> that dragon was Giannis. Like the dragon usage is just, hey, out of Denim Kupo, he's going to be pretty good. No, it was. Oh my God, he's the MVP. It was honestly the hard and usage rate thing. Like the new, the new, co- new advanced metrics specialist came in and said, what if the dragon's usage rate is a hundred percent? I guess I bet yeah. we'd win the war. You can't do better. What if than the dragon, dragon sets shot. everybody on fire yeah. and everybody dies? We're gonna win. Yeah. This is what my mess says. We're gonna be Everyone more, dies, we win. We know how they're playing the pick and roll now with the harpoons. Yeah. Right. So you, you know, fly like, around the back. They're gonna shade us left every time. Yeah. So be ready to go on the weak side. Uh you're on Greyjoy. Few different storylines with him. I would say that, you know, if you're gonna start shooting darts in the air flying dragon you got incredibly lucky taking down the second one by the way okay and then all of a sudden we're like wait a minute dragons could just die from these spears you got to do it's a, it's a need a wrinkle yeah. yeah you can't be just going hey aim there aim there aim there like that's that's like your dad watching you play video games saying you left that coin back there this this needs to be 40, 40 shots at a time yeah. you, it's to get a horn. High like, volume. Where's the fucking horn? All these guys used to have horns that would like in unison, let's all shoot at the same time. Exactly. High volume, high usage, and they were shooting It's like one shooting at a time. 53s in a playoff game against a team you're not as good at. Exactly. So then that happens. I tell you, tell you man, looking at that, looking at that naval setup before the Dragons torched the shit out of it, why were the Greyjoys like? Why are the what is it, the Ironborn? Yeah. Why, why aren't they taking over more shit than some brackish stone island? Like, how could they have not? That that navy was incredible. Yeah. I mean, other than a dragon torching it. It seemed I I don't understand. They're like tomorrow we're gonna attack, and then they got there tomorrow. I've I've just lost all sense of where the map is on this. Are show. we still in the thirteen hundreds? You think? Well, I know we're in the thirteen hundreds. <laughs> That's not in dispute. What I don't understand is how they're like, tomorrow we're going. And then they're it's, there? Like, it's like when I drove my kids to school. It's like, all right, I'm at school. Is it possible they're just closer than we thought? Closer has to be like two blocks away. On a map? I don't know. I don't Kyle, no, do you understand I'm it? I'm not a topographer. I have no idea. I don't understand it either. I think we're just supposed to brush past it. So I think people have had some issues in the last couple of episodes on time movement things, but I don't know. So the episode starts, Varys the eunuch yep. tries to pull a power play. This is what you have to watch out for with Jason Kidd. Um, tries to go around the back on Daenerys. Jon Snow does the right thing. All of a sudden he's dead. Can't trust the eunuchs. So the most important thing that happens here in the great, in the uh, eunuch power rankings, Varys now, he's out. Grey Worm now, our number one eunuch. I feel like Grey Worm... Grey Worm was always the number one. Well, unit. Varys had a good resume, though. He's, More juice, but it's been if they a lot had a fight, of postseasons. Th- yeah, but if you, you close the door, put him in a room, we know who's coming out. <laughs> Grey, so. Grey, Grey Worm's more of that Jokic kind of younger ascent. Varys has been around like a little Chris Paul. No. Finally slips. No, he's not Chris Paul. That's Yeah, he's been around forever. He's one of the only characters who's shady and it's somehow I feel like worked it's more out like for Robert him. Parrish. You're like, holy shit, he's still playing? Robert Parrish. So he's he's out. Now, he was writing a letter, though. He was writing a letter to, to tell everyone. So right. then Tyrion told Daenerys what was up. And Daenerys, at this point, is full-blown psycho. And so Daenerys isn't like, hey, thanks for the heads up. She's like, you helped spread this rumor because you and Varys have your wine parties. Right. And on a boat. 
She's, she's like, like I told Jon Snow not to tell his sister. And then yeah. he did anyway. He, he, I told him not to do that. So the Daenerys foreshadowing in the previous episode at the wine bender after the Night King. Yeah. After the White Walker. The Mad ran, Queen. Right. Where Lannister, Jamie, just again, still had the weirds. An episode later, he's like, man, I don't want to run into her at a party. Go to a lot of the same <laughs> bars. Like, maybe I'll tell one of the bouncers not to let her in. Um, Blocking her. <laughs> uh, yeah but Daenerys was showing signs of being crazy but some people were like hey she just went through a lot we're like nope no 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 this is the replaying of the Mad King storyline the Mad King the Mad King the Mad King they needed I, I know it's uh, it's in fashion to talk about how they're rushing through this I would have liked the one scene where she talked about how sad she is that two of the dragons are gone she started out with these three dragons that she loved now she's got one left I don't know Maybe like a standing, you're a writer, you could have written this, standing in a balcony kind of scene, talking about, yeah, I always thought I'd have these three dragons, now I'm down to one. There's nothing more painful than losing a child. Those dragons are my children. I Stare actually, off in the distance, yeah. end scene. It's funny you, you say that. You could type that one out. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Did somebody tell you? <laughs> no, I didn't. I risked Just my guessing. spare time. I wrote a four and a half episode. So- technically would have taken place in between episodes four and oh. five yeah it's called a 4.5 like it it's good yeah. exercise no she keep has, the fingers moving every day she goes on vacation with the one remaining dragon and reflects really yeah <laughs> uh, Tyrion tells Varys yeah your, that was me I was the one that blew the whistle I love your notes and uh I don't know, kind of a touchy moment for two people where one of the two people had the other one basically set up to be killed. Yep. It's about as touching as it could get. The uh, the dragon comes in to do the assassination of Varys. I would have thought- How they do they constantly... breathe the fire concentrated just on the one person, but like there's no fire residue dude, You don't know anything else. about dragons, dude. <laughs> you don't know anything? You don't. Oh, I don't. Yeah. Okay. So they could point the fire? Yeah, whatever. Like, what happens? He's 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 setting Varys on fire, but like he he kind of stumbles a little bit and just wipes out three other people. Whoops. Yeah, well, Sorry. they were doing that. Didn't some sh shepherd lose some stuff? Yeah, because he was. But here, if they're constantly complaining they can't feed the dragons, yeah, why would they just let? I have two hundred pounds of eunuch right here, Varys medium medium rare, <laughs> high key thick. <laughs> He's not an appetizer. <laughs> so uh, Daenerys tells Jon Snow they're yeah. trying to work it out, even though that's a, that's his aunt, which is, I don't know, a deal breaker for a lot of people, not necessarily in this show. In she the 1300s, though. 1300s is a little, a little wackier. She says, I don't have love here. I only have fear. That's how I felt the last few months at ESPN. <laughs> 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 okay, but who were were you, Jon Snow or Daenerys? Ah, it's just I I could I could see a lot of her points is what I what I say. At some point, you just want to climb on the dragon and start blowing fire. But to be fair, to take Jon Snow's side here, like Mike and Mike said, what I'm climbing on Stan. <laughs> There's I don't. What else is he supposed to do to prove to her? And so that's well, he just, could have sex with her. I thought he was going for it. You know, it was like, hey, I know you're bummed out, but you know. Get like some you get some bummed time out to dead dragon makeup sex. Yeah, yeah I'd be like, hey, <laughs> I've got. Boston well, we didn't Commons get the end at the two. beginning. What? No end at the beginning for nudity. I, I'm so not, I thought of Joe yeah. House. It was his fiftieth birthday, and I thought maybe they give him the end. But House, that was the greatest recovery ever because I just that's the second time I've met him. So we do the podcast, and he's complaining that there's no nudity in a TV show. Yeah, and then I'm going like, he really did that worked up about it. Like when you saw one of the police academies back in the day, would you be like, oh, rewind the beach scene? That was awesome. But then when he said, I want to be surprised, it was the greatest recovery ever because I liked him the whole time. But I'm like, what a weirdo! Like you really that yeah. bummed out? There's no nudity in a TV show? Like come on, dude. He goes, I like to be surprised. It was great. <laughs> and I went, oh my God. That's and the best. subject. It was, yeah, I, you yeah. win, I lost. Yeah. So she said to Tyrion, next time you feel me would be the last time you feel me. Now, to be fair, who who had a worse season, Tyrion or Brett Brown? Um, Brett Brown. I think Tyrion did. 
it really all of his advice is just bad advice over and over and over again. He's the wrong thing. Even like, let's go see Cersei. We'll go reason with her. She shoves. Oh, I, I can talk to her. Yeah, I could talk to her. Everything he says, it's it it turns out badly, to the point that you almost had to wonder is he like a mole for Cersei, but obviously not because everybody on the show got wiped out tonight. Um, she wanted to attack immediately. I wrote down. This is a little sketchy because her arm is a back to back game. They just had a battle. Yeah, and can, we don't even. I've know seen how, the back to back yeah. stats on her army. It's tough. Yeah, and it's not like she went from Portland to, you know, no, San this Francisco is, or Oakland. It's a tough one. You know, um, we saw Jamie. Tyrion goes to save him. Like Portland, or Orlando. <laughs> Great scene with Tyrion and Jamie, the brothers. Last time we see them together. We great think. scene. We think. Good scene. Send that one to the Emmy committee. Oh, it was great because it was like good lines when he's sitting there and, you know, we're trying to figure out what Tyrion's deal is here. And you're right. Like his instincts, although I get where he was coming from, it all ends up turning out wrong. He's putting himself in a position where Daenerys has already said, basically, the next time you fail me will be the last time you fail me. Yeah. You're gonna, I'm going to kill you. You know, and they're like, okay, well, you're totally batshit crazy now, so look out. And it's building up to this whole thing, and it feels like it happened kind of quick, but, you know, she did lose the two dragons and the Jon Snow thing. Like, I've been sleeping with my nephew, and now he's actually the real heir to the throne. So that's a tough week. But, um, <laughs> you know, not as bad as James Harden, but tough. Tyrion to go in and and talk to Jamie, and it, like, hey, here's a legitimate plan. You know, there's sometimes in the dialogue where you go, I know you're you're building, you're building, you're building, but there was just so much payoff dialogue in this one, I thought, where it's like, look, I'm doing this for you because you're the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. I was this half man in these yeah. horrible times, and you're the only one that treated me like you should have as your brother. And whether it was, um, was it Tyron Lannister who was the father? I'm always checking with Kyle. Double check. Is that correct? Yeah, yes. Tywin. 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 All right. Killed Sorry. taking a shit. I loved him. Yeah. Loved him. One of my favorite characters in the history of the show. So Shitty much way so to I, go. Yep. But nice. that was like a really cool moment and very like okay yeah this is awesome and, and it brought you know some some closure to it i guess but i don't know i just i'm with you i thought i thought it was really cool dialogue the whole thing so whatever it redeemed jamie's hairdo this season which i just didn't understand he's wearing rick barry's wig from the 1976 playoffs and I, don't, I don't know why i recently talked about it mcshay did this look for a summer once really yeah it was the weirdest the thing. shaggy bangs look yeah but it wasn't even the bangs he kind of did like a shaggy grow it in the back but it wasn't a mullet and we were just like, you know, Boston guys are really, really cool when a new friend yeah. is trying a different style. <laughs> yeah, don't say anything at all. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? He goes, hey, back off. You know, the hairdresser told me I'm just trying something different. So they go attack Cersei's uh, city. The music, we both noticed the music. Incredible Great music. Incredible cello score. Really tonight. like kind of moving tense. Felt like the bank scene in Heat kind of had that feel like shit's going down. Bank scene in Heat, top five scene of all time. Oh, of my life. It's unbelievable. Top five moment. It's unbelievable. If that had only, if you went to go see Heat and it was just that 20 minutes and they're like, hey, it's over, I would go, can I, can I pay again? I remember getting a DVD player in the mid 90s. Pro scan? And stare, and stare a surround sound, which they finally, whatever the 1996 version of it was. I used to love hanging up speakers and running wire. Put it in, and the Heat DVD came out whenever, and playing that, and the fucking bank scene just echoing around. Do you have a my subwoofer? apartment in Charlestown. Yeah, <laughs> it, must sound, it must have sounded like there was a shootout, like the townies had come in and and uh, attacked us. Subwoofers were the worst amazing. thing to happen to neighbors. Yeah, because you were like, well, you know, the guy's like, well, you want to add a sub. You want to put it behind your couch. Don't sleep on, on Kilmer floor. in that scene. <laughs> Don't sleep on Kilmer in that scene. Just like the way he's like cocking and he's got the two guns at the same time. I remember everybody was buying because we were bartending and yeah. it's right around the same time. So yeah. I'm a couple years Disposable behind Disposable money. Yeah. So whatever, or if you had cash, you had to buy a surround sound. And so all of us were buying them at the same time and yeah. trying to outdo the other bartender because we just didn't. Going to Twitter. Right. So then I had uh, a friend. I remember everybody was day drinking. I mean, swear to God, dude, I think I was like 22 or 23 because I was still in the town I was at. And one of these older guys that we all ran around with, and he bartended too, he was like, he was wasted. <laughs> He's like, hey, Rasul, let's go to my house and watch 
watch Ransom on surround sound and drink SoCo. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> and I, I wish I had been invited. Being kind of day drunk was like, I that sounds fucking terrible. No, like just you and I disagree. I, it was still light out. Like in back then, the kid loved the nightlife. Like there, you never knew what it was you were going to run into. And so I'm like, what? And then our other friends were making fun of him. Like he just invited you to go to his house to drink Southern Comfort just to watch Ransom on Surround Sound. It's a great offer. <laughs> what? Why would Ransom be so good on Surround Sound? It's a great movie. Give me back my son. <laughs> so they attack the. That's Cer a true line. What's though. Cersei City? King's Landing. They go they go attack there. They close the gates, leave half the people out, which is always rough if you don't get inside in time. And uh and then Stan the Dragon just annihilated everybody for about 20 minutes. And there was so much death and devastation that they were banging home the point like, oh yeah, Game of Thrones, it's all fun and games. But you know what's not that fun is like war and death and being set on fire and having shit fall on you and things crumbling and concrete hitting you and they're using Arya mostly as the proxy who Arya has been like a magician this whole show. And even she's terrified. It seems like she's going to get trampled. And I thought it was really effective. I'm sure people are going to pick it apart tomorrow, but I liked it. I thought it was incredible. Um, the, you know, not that I'm some expert on it, but the way it's shot, the way these scenes and everybody's running, like there were some shots for how long it would be from start to finish that were incredible with all that commotion and then the use of like the explosions around them where, you know, the sometimes ash, it's, like the settling, ash thing falling down. constantly like this snowing, but burning bodies. And you're wondering if Arya, I was like, are they really going to let her kill Cersei too? I'm like, that seems to be, that'd be like Kawhi hitting another game winner in the NBA finals, you know, between that and the Night King. Um, I like the Lannister part of it. Where well, I, Cer so Cersei's in the castle. She's convinced it's going to be cool. Yeah, she's like, the and red keep's never been, we're good. They're just losing people hundreds at a time. And then finally the guys drop their swords and we're good. And we think it's going to be over. But Daenerys is like, no. Hell hath no fury. She's got that look in her eye. Yeah. A little like the, the Kobe underbite face. A little, little bit. bit. After little bit. the Kobe, the three fish pump, like kind of sticking the chin out. Yeah. And a little uh, nipple show, not on Daenerys, on Kobe, when he was pulled the, <laughs> right. he pulled the jersey to the nipple. side. Uh, Check out my right peck. Dragon goes nuts. Gray Worm. Gray Worm just pulls it. that spear, takes yeah. out like nine people. And then they do that was like Reggie Miller. Oh, yeah. They do the slow motion where he does a Aah! like the Rambo first blood part two where he's just killing so many people. He has to cement it with the big yeah. kind of scream. And that John cool. Snow's consistently John like, like you got cool. pull back. You've got to stop. Stop! And then he's just murdering guys while he's telling everybody else to stop. No! And you're like, John, will you just go with the flow for a scene? Like, it's and, still a war. And nobody studied the second spectrum data on how to attack Jon Snow. Everybody just runs right at him. He moves to the left and just hits him with the, you know, because he's a little shorter. Moves to the left, hits him with the sword, moves on the next guy, same thing. No right hand. Nobody ever, ever like fakes running at him and then cuts to the right and goes down, goes at his legs. Do you ever wonder how you would do in a sword fight? I'd go with the fight? legs. Legs. You go down, go for You know the legs. how hard it must have been to be like some sort of sword fighting legend? You know? Like, oh, you see that Rosillo guy? He's amazing. Like, yeah, he's 19. He hasn't been killed yet. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like, who the hell was 40? <laughs> how could you be 40 and survive that yeah. stuff for that long? I always wonder that how dude? I would who? always wonder how I do. When I watch Braveheart, I'm like, which which way would you go? But there's not really much you could do. You know, you probably if you just have your head turned to the wrong time. You're going to get an arrow in the head. Or I think I would have been like how I play Fortnite. Just hide in the bushes. Well, I'd like to get a sniper gun and just hide in the bushes and take people out from far. If it's hand to hand and my reflexes just start there anymore, <laughs> maybe in my twenties I could have done it. But a um, couple more great, great, uh, game sevens in this. We had two in basketball. Jamie versus Euron. I felt like that was a game seven, right? He has to drop the whole "I fucked your sister" thing. Not cool. Not, Not realizing cool. It was also I also I fucked the love of your life, and that they were the same person. Maybe he didn't know that. I don't no, know. I think no. He did knew. he know that? He, he didn't know that. Yeah, he knew. He knew. He he said something a little. Sassy last season. Sassy. Sassy. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah. So big fight. You know, Jamie's missing a hand. Just pointing that out. Looks like he's gonna die, get stabbed a couple times. I thought he was done. 
comes you you scored it 10 8 you're on yeah you were done you sent your card in R.I.P. Harold. I just feel like I, you know what I, th- I thought the guys were doing is like we're not giving you the happy endings with everybody. We're not like we're gonna start we're gonna start picking these people off, and you're not gonna like it all the time. But that's yeah. the reality of it. And Jamie battles back, gets the win. I'm giving them a W. He lasted like another hour. But the way they wrote it too is Euron's like I killed the Kingslayer. So you're like okay, well then Jamie's so like die. I got him. How many? This guy's gonna like that's that's ballsy. That's actually like Dion Waiter's delusional stuff because he's sitting there, he's dying, stabbed, and he's taking the he's claiming the W. You're like, wait a minute, the other but guy just the got thing. up and walked away. But if I'm claiming a W, isn't my W like I killed one of the dragons? Everybody said the dragons could have been taken down. Much yeah. bigger W. Euron had a good run there. I took the down end. Bob the Dragon. I mean, he's just a stinky guy in these brackish waters. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's got his 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 ships were pristine. Having sex he with Cersei. He sleeps with the queen after yeah. she kind of shoots him down. He takes out a dragon. Things look great there for good a little while. Good season for him. Yeah. I have him second team. Oh, NBA. Despite dying? Yeah. Yeah, our second team. That was great. Uh, yeah, he said, I'm the man who killed Jamie Lannister. And then we had another game seven, Hound versus Mountain. Been waiting for this. Kyle, I know. This has been on Kyle's radar. Heading into this season, Kyle said, I don't care what happens. I just want Hound versus Mountain. And we found out that we, all of us in the room, including my wife, were all getting mad that Mountain was dying. And then realize that this is a show with dragons that fly around and crazy shit that happens and woman that lives till she's 450 years old and maybe it's conceivable mountain can't die. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he's Frankenstein, so that's kind of the whole point of him. So I, I thought, okay, how are they going to do this? How can they do this with a payoff? And they absolutely nailed it. There's no better way than what they did. Is We that got to see his face, Darth Vader style. We got the helmet off of him. We saw the gross body. We got the hound as he's stabbing him in the shoulders as he's being choked out and he won't die. And he's like, die, you fucking bastard, whatever he, he says. Laughing. He starts laughing and it's great. And the hound is my favorite. And then he, the mountain's going with the eye jam through your skull, kill death thing. Great trick. And it's like, it's hard to pull off, but I've only used it twice. But then you you think, oh shit, like is this going to happen? And then we think the hound's blind and we see that one right eye open up and then he looks at the mountain, and the death scene is awesome. Every time the mask comes off, it's always creepy, whether it's Friday the 13th or this or whatever movie you want to name. Alf. They never want to take, they, there's never the, they take the mask off, and the guy looks like Ryan Reynolds. They'd be That'd a much be bigger surprise, yeah, right? Yeah, hey, wow, the ma- mountain, no, the mountain's hot. handsome. Didn't realize he was a blonde. Yeah. He's got a kid. Um. So they fell to their death. And then uh, we had I love the, the way they did that. I just really did. Then we had the Jamie Cersei reunion. I've never been so happy to see an incestuous couple reunited. It was great. Emotional stuff. And it looks like the, the entire uh, building fell on them and they died. But we don't know. We didn't see it for sure. Good point. Assuming they're dead. I feel like they're dead. Not positive. And then Arya, uh, who really seemed scared for the first time ever, was able to get out harrowing running through things falling left and right emerges from it a white horse comes out of nowhere a little corny yeah but the way everything was around it was kind of just cool she had great blood streaks across the face i'm pro horse but i can also see why people are like oh that's fucking corny white horse come on horse just materializes out of nowhere perfectly i had some issues with other episodes but even then, I'm going, okay, what are you really doing here? Like, you can't get mad about tactical stuff, even though we did for an entire throne game recap. Because it's just, it's not, like, if the dragons just wiped out everything, like, oh, great, great use of the dragons. Now the show's boring as hell for 40 minutes. Like, it's just not the way the shows work. True. Sure. So, I'm, there's nothing, there's, I'm not going to, we're all not going to like everything about it. Episode five was as good as it gets. I don't, I don't know if it's Battle of the Bastards. I don't know if it was when they took out the Sparrow crew because that was incredible. The music, which yeah. they actually used some of that music in this episode too. But this is one of my favorite episodes I've ever seen. So I have, I don't really have any complaints. I don't either. I'm going to really miss this show. So recap of people who died. Hound. A lot of white males. A lot of white males. Good point. Hound, Mountain, Jamie probably, Cersei. Euron. Euron. Varys. Varys. The, 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 what is it? The gold, uh, what the, 
mean? The gold, gold golden army guy, company, golden, company. golden company. Guy looked like a Jonas brother kind of. The guy, yeah, yeah. One of the shitty ones though. Yeah, like the <laughs> third guy, the one who married Priyanka Chopra, whatever her name is. <laughs> Actually, somebody recently was trying to tell me how great two of the three were, so I'll leave it at that. Zoe, no, serious. Zoe claims their new song is fantastic. My daughter, I trust Zoe. Yeah, she's like, this song's really good. Okay, um, is it yeah. gonna be awkward when you have the Jonas Brothers on, or you have one of them on, and be like, which one of you sucks? Did should... I get the Did I get the one that sucks, or are you the cool one? <laughs> Who's the JaVale McGee out of the three of you? So yeah, last episode. What do we think? Uh, I think they were setting. Let's just guess. We didn't see Sansa this whole episode. We just didn't FYI. see Sansa at all. But I have a hard time believing that Daenerys wins the throne with what she just did. So now everybody hates her. And it it felt a little bit like the, you know, the, the writer's love for Arya and the storyline, which has never been one of my favorites. And I know everybody disagrees with me on that. That's fine. But... Didn't it feel like it was setting up a little of Arya being disgusted with Daenerys as she took in everything that was happening to Kinsley Landing? So she kills Daenerys? I don't know. Kyle, how do you kill Daenerys? What is she, the lady of... Uh, Just not with fire. fire? I think you, any other thing but fire. That's the only way you can't Just kill Just a her. fan on like seven. <laughs> <laughs> AC blasting for two hours. Like what is just the fan and AC on? <laughs> I think uh, I think Sansa ends up running the show at the end of this. That would be my guess. That would be my bet. There has to be a happy Stark ending. Which would be funny because she is on social media just pounding wine at all times. It would be hilarious if that was who won the Iron Throne. That could be the real harbinger there. How that she's been celebrating because she knows. I like what, what you just did there. How scared do you think they are that she's going to spoil Game of Thrones on in, on Instagram just at like 4.30 in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, I want Iron Throne. They're like, oh my God, no. Like one of Garoppolo's buddies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you think uh, they probably like took her phone for the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I'm actually, how could no one have done that? How could, how could, no, how could no one have fake done it? Like be like, Like hey, with the fake Woj tweets? Yeah. How That's does, interesting. I don't know if she's on Twitter. She's only on Instagram. No, she was she was tweeting That's about... It's a pretty big secret to keep. She was tweeting about how inefficient the Nuggets backcourt can be sometimes. <laughs> I, I feel like it has to be the Starks went through everything. Everything that they've gone through. It, it feels in a way of... I like that they're not trying to like wrap up this happy ending. I like that today was a bummer. I really do. I, I, I appreciate the, the creators of the show doing that, but... It feels like the Starks have had more skin in the game than anybody and that maybe you're right. Maybe it just ends up being some version of the Stark thing where they all can be happy and together again with all the sacrifices that they've gone through. But Daenerys, like a little bit of a fatal attraction type of thing, right? Yeah, maybe they made her unlikable too so that when they take her out, no one cares. I mean, I don't know if they care Well, she about violated that. the number one rule of whatever rules they dragon had back combat in no in 1300s like when you gave up you gave up no that's a good point drop the sword that's over when the bell rings i know like in the 1100s maybe it was a little crazier it but different. 1300s it was a little more civilized ottoman empire you gotta look it up